Yo everybody, this is AG4N97 coming back at you again with LA Noir. We're at Vice. It's the setup. What's gonna happen here? The setup. What's gonna happen, huh? Who are we setting up? That's what cops do. That is what cops do. So I'm back again. Yeah, I don't know what to say. You know, like, it's just been one of those days. But again, we're back at Eleanor, the cop. The cop that solves everything in one day. And without that one day, we, we wouldn't know L.A. We wouldn't know where L.A. would be today. Let's watch this video. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Getting your ass beats humbling. I see you, Phelps. Make you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Maloney and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. It's being his ass. Beating ass. That's all we're seeing here. Just takes all it takes is one hit. We're right there. there. There's the hit. Man, they throwing shit. They're crazy. Oh, he's running. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. Boy, you know what's going on. God damn you, Albert. You get out here right now. Step back, LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro, I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right, me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Oh boy, why couldn't you tell me about that, man? Well, maybe I want to make some money, too. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Uh, second to the end mean this one? Yes, look at that. Boom, just gloves, that's some tape. We need that tape? No, we don't. Let's see what this means. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. That's a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Bet money on himself. That's amazing. I mean, he's making more money if he wins the fight than if he loses it. Wait, let me, let me volume this up. I cannot hear that song. Let's find all. Oh, look, we found the newspaper. There you go. Go. We're getting all the newspaper today. Elias Fortain working selfishly to help the infirm. That's some bullshit. We know what's happening in there. Helping himself. You look troubled. I'm in a jam. Doctor. Damn, that's a lot of shit. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no. It's always Doctor. money. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say will never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. 
I guess I did it for the wrong reason. For short-term gain. We came home from China. On the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects what? for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. The hell is he doing? Yes. Housing development sounds fishy. Like I'm saying, you should pay attention to all this because this eventually comes back and ties into everything. Man, I don't think I even hear the song anymore. Let me see. You're not gonna talk about it, you're just gonna look outside. What else can we look at it here? The tape? Yes, this tape is so necessary. But whatever. All right, let's go outside. Got to go to the thing and talk you to somebody. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. Yeah, I met I him before. Is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Damn, what a savage. Straight up told him. I killed him. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Uh, we're not gonna have a... You're not gonna advance that, Phelps? Should be like, no, of course I did. Operator, give Why me is he dispatch. doing that? <laughs> Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? There's like no music. Is that just me? The following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. You know the place? Flop House. 
Quarter a night, no questions asked. Quarter? What are they doing with a quarter, my man? Costs oh, more than a quarter nowadays. Let's go, my dude. Hotel Elmar. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Yo, that was really a hit. Do I know the hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. Boy, keep on moving. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Cheap ass, Phelps. Get that money, man. Get the one with the says you're gonna like the way you look, I guarantee it. That's the man right there. He be giving them nice ass suits. So what are you wasting your time for? There you go, Elmar. That's a weird name, Elmar. Cheap rates, hot water. That's all you really need. I did solve the case. Thank you very much for noticing me. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for... Okay, thank you. I was about to say, what's wrong? Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Monica Lake. Danny Kay. Winston Churchill. Oh my god, he came through. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adler can't get out from his shadow. Winston Churchill. I did not, I cannot believe a man with his intelligence is doing in a room like this. You would think, you know, he has money. Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. How do you know that? Huh? Explain to me. Oh, look at this. Is his mouth guard right here? Mouth guard's useless, apparently. Try to see and see, see what else we got here. Oh, we got this Western Union something over here. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna read that. Home soon, your boy done good, Albert. His boy has done good. What is this right here? It's a ticket stub. Oh, we got it. We got it right here. Right here, right here. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Barely. You don't understand, Phelps. You would never understand. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner in the fight. Ah, uh, please, Phelps. You'll never understand. You're cheating on your wife right now. You're cheating on your wife. Can you? Are you really the one to uh to be talking? Instaheat, Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. All right here. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Look at this, even a god. All right, still warm. let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Excuse me, I'm not done yet. There is so much more to explore over here. Look at this, there's this. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. 11 grand would be a nice little nest egg. 11 grand. Look at that. Of course. I wouldn't even take that far, neither. Another window exit. 
Must have just missed him. Yo, boy. I heard you like the second time. It's like another one here, anyway. It's this angle if he has a real love interest. Amazing. Maybe he just likes to wear lipstick. Huh? You ever thought about that, Phelps? Uh, you no, you don't. All you think is by yourself. Alright, let's go. Let's go see this candy chick. Look at this dude. He's winning in the car. How about you, like, calm yourself down? Huh? Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Okay, Pops, you don't know that. Were so, you there? you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. A thousand push-ups. But if there was money involved, Phelps, would you, would you have taken that fall? Huh? What do you think about that? I mean, like, if it was me, man, shit. I just need money. Sure, it's, you get more if you win, but why would you, why would you try to win? Oh, look at that girl. Look at, she's just sitting down there waiting for a customer. She's like, this is never... Which room is Candy's? She's always like, this is never enough people in here. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Yo, man. Again. You guys are just judging? I mean, this girl is like just telling her her business, too. Who does that? What kind of. Come on, girl. You should know. Oh, shit. Maybe it's a threesome, huh? Now you just ruin it for everybody. Give it up, bitch. Sounds he's like we're missing all the fun. Get in there, Phelps. Hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you I haven't seen him. I'm waiting. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Go in the door. Damn, knocked his ass out. I mean, her. Oh, they hit me. I, there you go. This isn't going to end well for you, friend. 